Coffee furniture are new trends in 2023. They are soft, curved, and so cozy. We might need them in our project, so let's model one. First, create a new family in generic model. Press UN and set the unit on metres. Put rounding on two decimal places. Go to the left view and create a reference plan in this part. I'm going to set it on 60 so we have an approximate size for the height of the sofa. Then I'm going to create an extrusion with this rectangle in this part. With dimension, I'm going to set it exactly in the center. And then I'm going to create another one to see its exact size. I think we can go with something around 20 centimeter like this. And then I'm going to fill out all of these corners. 5 or 6 cm could be good. Hit finish. For its extrusion, I want it to be in the center exactly. So I'm going to go with 7 cm for this part and minus 7 cm for the other side. Now if we go to the ref level, it's exactly in the center. I also want to curve all of these parts. So we need to go to the left view again and in here we are going to use this void sweep first use this pick line for the pass and click on all of these lines make sure that your first click is on a straight line not on all of these curved ones because it might be hard to create profile on them for its profile i'm going to first create a rectangle in here and then i'm going to fill it this corner 2, 3 or 4 cm could be good for this part too. Then I'm going to delete this line and close the profile from the outside. Now you can hit finish and finish again. We need to repeat it for the other side so let's go to the ref level and mirror it like this exactly from the center and then cut it from this extrusion. If you want to see all of these curves, you can change the visual style to shade it. This is the first piece of our sofa. Before we load it into the another family, I'm going to select it and create a parameter for its material. Let's simply call it material. Then I'm going to save it as a new family. Then we need to create a new family again in generic model or in furniture. Our sofa is going to be a two or three seater. So I'm going to first create the rectangle in this part just to see the size of it. And I'm going to set it exactly in the center. I think this size could be good for its length and for its depth. Let's go with 50 centimeter. Now we need to go back to the previous family and load it to this one. Let's put it in the center for now. Now we can either copy it for both sides or use this array. I'm going to select it and then click on this array. Set it on linear and then use this last move to last. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to just use this one. Then for its numbers, I'm going to go with 6 for now. I think we can go with 7. Okay. Then let's move this to the right a little bit more. Ungroup the first one and then use array again for the other side. Put it on 7. Then move it to the left until both sides are exactly like each other. Select one and copy it to the center. Then ungroup it and rotate it with no copy 90 degrees we're going to move it to this part exactly and then we are going to use array for this one too i'm going to move it to here and set it on four i think it's good select all of them and use mirror with this line to copy it for the other side too Let's go to 3D view to see how it looks. Perfect. Now it's time for these two corners. If you look at them from the floor plan, you see that we can't use these rectangles in here. We need something a square. 
So let's go back to the first family and in here we are going to change the extrusion. We have overall 14 cm in this part and if we go back to the left view, we have 22 cm in here. So it will be better if we change the extrusion. Let's go to ref level and change both of them to 11 cm. Okay, if you face something like this, delete the second void and then mirror it again for the other side. Now, before we load it, we need to save it with another name. Let's save it as B and then load it. Now, we can simply put it exactly in this part. Okay, I think it's a little bit big. I don't want really to see it like this. Let's go back and make it a little bit smaller. 10 for both sides could be much better. Then load it again and overwrite it. Okay, I think it looks good, but if you want it to be exactly the same size of these parts, you can either move it down and left or right to fit it with all of them, or simply go back to the first family and change the size of the extrusion, or go to the edit extrusion in left view and change the size of the profile if you want. Since now we know how we can change and modify it, Let's continue with this and mirror it for the other side. Perfect. Now it's time for the sitting area. Let's go to the floor plan and measure this part. From this point to here, it's 50 centimeter. We can go with 52, 54. Okay, you can either create a new family and create the sitting area yourself from the beginning or again go back to the first family that we started with and use that one. I want to use the same dimension that we started with so I'm going to use this family again. Now we can go to the left view. I'm going to use kind of the half of the size of this part for the seating area so let's go with 30 or 35 then select the extrusion and move it down to here for its steps as we measured we need to go with something over 50 centimeters so let's go with 53 for example now you can hit finish and the sweep, the void sweep that we just created is going to follow the path because we selected the path. But for the other side, we need to repeat and mirror it again. Now we need to save it as another family. Let's go with C and then load it again to this one. Let's put it in its place and then use array for copying it to here. Select it and then click on this part. Make sure it's on linear and then move to the last. Click on this part and then on here. For its number, let's go with 8. One more, 9. Perfect. I think it's good with 9. Now this is our curved and cozy sofa. Now that our sofa is complete, let's save it as a puffy sofa or whatever name that you want and load it into the project. I'm going to put it in this part for now. For its material, let's first go to Inkscape. Actually, we have a lot of options for this. We can go with a very simple fabric. We can use a teddy fabric. We can use wool. If you search, you can find any texture that you want for it. Even if you can't find the right color or texture of wool for it, at least if you want it to be a little bit softer, you can use it for its bump. I'm going to select it and from its edit type i will create a new material for it these are some options that you can use for your furniture or as i said if you don't like them you can use them for the bump i'm going to go with this one fabric number 22 as always i download it from ambient cg i'm going to select the color texture and change its size to 50 
for both of them and let's see how it look like for now you see these reflects in here if you don't want them you can go to the setting and decrease this closeness see it's gone i don't want it to have any reflect but if you want you can check this box and use the reflect texture for this too but one thing that i wanted to have is the bump so scroll down and check this bump section you can use the displacement texture or one of these normal maps i'm going to go with normal for now let's change its size to 50 we need to use the same size for all of the textures in one material increase its amount a little bit and okay unfortunately we don't have anything for controlling the direction of the textures on a object like for example uv map which we had in 3d max you don't have anything in here therefore this is the only thing that we have and i think it looked good so yes, that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!